Your typical ice maker goes through a series of steps to make ice. The first thing it will do is close the set of contacts, energizing an inlet valve, which allows water to come into the ice maker tray. This amount is on a timed basis and it's designed to make the proper size ice cubes. On some models, this is adjustable. So once the water is in the tray, the refrigeration process will turn it from water into ice. Once that happens, the thermostat will now energize a small heater and that heater will allow the ice cubes to float in the tray. Meanwhile, the ice maker will do a rotation in which a series of fingers will sweep the ice cubes out of the ice tray and allow them to fall into your ice bin. At the same time as it's doing the rotation, an arm will be raised and lowered to determine the ice level in the bucket. If the arm raises and comes down and can't move into its normal position because the bin is full, it will turn the ice maker off. Once the ice is used, the arm will go into its normal position and the cycle will begin again once more.